Hi Moat families, I'm Miss Allison and it's a beautiful day for some backyard yoga. Welcome to Ocean Moves with Moat. Well, I don't know about all of you, but I've certainly been missing my aquarium. So today what we're gonna do is a virtual walkthrough Moat Aquarium. So even if you've never been there before, you can learn about all the fun animals we have on exhibit. So some of the moves we're doing today, you may have seen in previous Ocean Moves with Mo, but if you've never seen any ohms, go ahead and just follow along. All right, here we go. So on the way to the aquarium, we have to probably get there, huh? So let's go ahead and sit down on our mats we're gonna get in our car just like we did on the very first day of Ocean Moves with Mo. We're gonna put our seatbelt on because we wanna be nice and safe. So reach up to one angle and then clip in your seatbelt on the opposite hip. Okay, we're ready to go. And it's a beautiful ride to City Island. So go ahead and just rotate your head. Look around at the beautiful sights. Oh, there's a bird. Okay, we are ready to go. We are finally at the aquarium. Now here's your chance to do your favorite excited pose. Okay, I'm gonna count to three. One, two, three. Yay! We are so excited to be here. Let's walk through the doors and see what we can find, okay? So we're just gonna move our feet like we're walking around, looking around. <gasps> I see the first animal, and you know what it is? It's a diamondback terrapin named Cecil. Now diamondback terrapins are a type of turtle that live in brackish water, which is a mix of salty and fresh water. So let's go down into froggy pose. Okay, like a froggy. And then we're gonna take our fingers and spread them out because terrapins have webbed feet, just like a duck okay or a frog all right and now of course it's because uh because it's a turtle it has a shell so you can arch your back a little bit make a nice strong shell to protect that terrapin awesome okay so terrapins were the first animal we see but this is an aquarium where we usually have things in the ocean so let's look around we can walk around again i see a bunch of fish and now I see a beautiful tank with coral. We have lots of live coral at Moat, so if you remember from our Coral Town session, we have two main types of coral. One of them is branching coral. So we're gonna do a tree pose. You can either put your ankle on the top of your foot or you can bring it up onto your inner thigh. And then we're gonna build those branches up into the sky. Lots of balancing, excellent. Try the other side. Build up your branches. Awesome, and there's one other kind of coral. A lot of people have heard of brain coral. It's a type of boulder coral. And what's a boulder? It's a rock. Down to rock pose. <laughs> awesome. And the corals that we have at Moat are super colorful and support a lot of different kinds of life. Let's walk around and see what else we can find. All right, let's see. Oh, some cuttlefish. <gasps> Fun. <gasps> now this is an animal I have not seen very many times. It's related to a seahorse. It's also related to a pipefish that you might remember from our seagrass session. This animal is called a sea dragon. That's right, sea dragons are actually real. They're not as big as the myths and legends that you may have heard about, but they are related to seahorses and pipefish, and they have a couple of extra appendages that look like kelp or seaweed to help them camouflage. So let's go down onto our mats. We'll do pipefish pose first, and then add in a little ribbon sea dragon. All right, go ahead on your bellies. Now you might remember pipefish, they look like floating seagrass. So you can just roll back and forth, and ribbon sea dragons have a leafy 
appendages. So extra leafy parts off their body. So let's make those leafy parts. You can lift up your uh, chest a little bit and your legs. Try to balance. Awesome. Ribbon sea dragons are one of my favorite. Let's see what else we can find in the aquarium. Let's go ahead and walk around. I see something that is beautiful, but is not really meant to be here in Florida. It's native to the other side of the world, just like our sea dragons. But this one has lots of spines and the name of another animal. Do you know what it is? Lionfish. It's a lionfish. Let's go ahead and do some lion poses down on our knees. Now lions have a big mane around their head, just like lionfish have lots of spiny fins. So let's go ahead and put our hands around their face like a mane, or all those spines coming off of a lionfish. And then we're gonna open up our mouth and breathe really hard. Ready? One, two, three. Ah. Awesome. Now let's do some spiny poses too, since there are lots of venomous spines on a lionfish. Go ahead and hop up to your feet again, legs out. We're gonna take one hand, touch our opposite ankle, ankle, and put the other arm in the sky. And then switch, opposite hand, opposite ankle, arm up to the sky like a spine. Come on, guys. All right, let's walk around a little more, see what we can find. Okay, some other fish. I see something squishy. Kind of the opposite of a lionfish. Although it does have fish in its name, it's not actually a fish. It's really squishy. It's made mostly of water and it has long stinging tentacles. Do you know what it is? It's a jellyfish. So let's go ahead and do our jellyfish pose. Feet together. Arms are going to swoop down like a bird, but we're going to do it a lot of times in a row. Ready? Here we go. Beautiful swimming jellyfish. Now we also have an exhibit that has a plastic bag in it to show how closely plastic bags floating in water look like jellyfish. And maybe a sea turtle or another animal might mistake it for food. So we need to make sure to keep our garbage out of the ocean. So we've got jellyfish. Hmm. What else can I find? Ooh, what's this tank in the middle? I'll have to check that out a little bit later because I see something really cool and a little bit bigger than a jellyfish right over here. In this tank, I see an animal that some people like to eat. They are red sometimes. They have antenna and they're related to shrimp. Anyone know what it is? It's a lobster. Lobsters have really long bodies and antennae. So let's go ahead and make our bodies really long on our mats. We can sit down and then we'll put up our antennae. So go ahead and put one leg bent in the front. You can stretch the other one all the way back behind you. Take your arms, stretch them out for antennae. Awesome lobsters. Let's try the other side. Bend your other leg, stretch out your other leg. And then, awesome, so those are our lobsters, and in that tank we also have some really, really cool reef fish. All right, let's stand up, walk around, and see what we can find. Ooh, a hallway. Ooh, this looks fun. Some virtual reality stuff. What's in this back room? Oh my goodness, it's a giant preserved Squid! Oh, how amazing! It's Molly the Mollusk. Now, if you remember from our sneaky cephalopod lesson, squid actually have eight arms like an octopus and two long tentacles. So let's pretend our body is a squid. Our two long legs would be the tentacles with suction cups only at the end. Go ahead and pick up one leg and rotate your ankle. Move your foot around, stretch it out. And then let's switch to the other side. Great, and then of course we have eight arms, so let's go ahead and swing our eight arms. Awesome. And then squid also have a fin up top, so you can put your hands into a triangle 
at the top of your head like this, and that's how they swim around. That's how they steer. Okay, now let's walk out of Exploration Gallery, outside into the sunlight. Oh man, it's bright out there. Let's go ahead and put our sunglasses on. Oh, much better. We're outside. We're gonna look and see what animals might live in a mangrove forest, in and out of those roots. So first, let's make our mangrove pose. Go ahead and jump your legs out again. These are gonna represent the roots that keep our mangrove very, very strong. And then you can take your hands and try and touch the ground. We'll make some additional roots. These are called prop roots. And of course, they have branches and leaves, so you can reach up behind you to make some branches and leaves. And these roots keep them really strong when the water sloshes in between them. So let's go ahead and just do a sloshy water pose. Oh, that feels nice. Okay, let's walk around and see what we find in here. Oh, I see one of my favorite animals. It's a seahorse, but these seahorses are not very big. They're called dwarf seahorses, and as adults, they are so teeny tiny, you have to look really close to see. So let's do seahorse pose, but in a mini form, okay? Go ahead and kneel down on your mats. We'll start with a big seahorse. So we're kneeling up nice and tall. Here's our, our tail behind us that curls around things and holds on to things. And then we're gonna bring our arms up and make a mouth. And remember, seahorses suck up their food like they're drinking through a straw. And then we're just gonna sit down to make our tiny seahorse. Awesome. Now walking a little bit further, what else do I see? Oh, I see some fish that you wouldn't necessarily see right away. They are masters of disguise and camouflage. They hide and wait until their food comes close and then they attack and snatch it up. So let's pretend to be a scorpion fish, okay? So let's go back on our bellies. And we're gonna lift our chest up like this and look up at the sky like we're waiting for our food to come. And we're gonna hide again. And then we're gonna come back up and we're gonna snatch our food and hide. <laughs> Great job, everyone. Let's look around a little bit more. <gasps> I see something else really cool. Now, this animal has two shells, a squishy, squishy body, and 60 eyes. Not eyes like us. They kind of just see light and dark. You know the animal I'm talking about? It's a scallop. So let's go ahead and make our body into a scallop pose. So go ahead, back down on the ground. <laughs> Lots of up and down today. You can stack your legs on top of each other like you're, like you're um, with your legs bent. And then you can lean over to the side and we're just gonna open up our legs like shells opening up, okay? Like this. And if you wanna go to the other side, you can try that too. Excellent job, everyone. All right, we're gonna leave this section and see what else we can find in the aquarium. Okay, <gasps> coming around the corner, I see one of my favorite sharks. It's a bonnet head. They look like little mini hammerheads, but as an adult, they only get to be about a couple feet long. They like to hang out in the shallows. So let's make a modified shark pose. Do you remember shark? Down on our bellies once again. Except this time, instead of making a dorsal fin, we can still make our tail. We are going to make two little hammerheads. So put your hands and fists right by your head. You can lift up your chest and get that nice stretch going. Awesome. All right. Walking along in the aquarium. I see the touch tank. Now, does everyone remember how we touch our animals in the touch tank? How many fingers? Two fingers, you got it. We touch them lightly on the top and feel their textures. Now we have one squishy thing in the touch tank. Can you guess what it is? It's a sea.
sea cucumber. They're related to sea urchins and sand dollars and they're really squishy. They look like a pickle. So let's do kind of a standing squishy sea cucumber pose. <laughs> I splat myself in the plane. And then opposite of that, let's do sea urchin. Back down on the ground in a nice tight curl like this. They don't just look like a ball though. They have lots of spines and spikes. So go ahead and shoot your arms up to the side like you have a whole bunch of spines. It's kind of a fun dance too. <laughs> okay. We have lots of other fun things in our touch tank, but let's walk around and see what else we can find. You may have been watching our narrated shark trainings. Let's see what's in that tank. Oh my gosh, lots of fun sharks, like sandbar sharks that look like airplanes from up above. You remember our airplane pose? Arms out to the side, lean down. Try to balance on one leg. And you can switch to the other side. Awesome. We also have a really, really big grouper in the big shark tank. And groupers are pretty big fish. They have giant mouths. Let's go ahead and sit down. Aww. We're gonna pretend like our legs and our arms are the mouth of a grouper. You ready? Try and touch your toes if you can. If you need to bend your legs a little, that's okay. And then we're gonna open up like a big grouper mouth. And then shut your mouth. And then open your mouth. And then close your mouth. And that's our grouper. Now to end our day at the aquarium, we have two more poses left. Do you know what the last thing is? It's something else you can touch. It has fins that look like wings and a long pokey tail. Do you know what I'm talking about? It's a stingray, so we can stay seated. Let's put our legs into butterfly pose. We can flap our wings like those wings of a stingray. But of course they have a very important tail that helps to keep them protected. So you can take one hand and stick your arm right behind you. Lean over, get a nice good stretch. You can even switch hands if you want. Make a tail with your other arm. I can't make a tail with this arm. And flap your wings a little bit more. Awesome. Whew. It's been a really fun, exciting day at the aquarium. I'm kind of thirsty, are you? <laughs> well, you know what? We have a diner right over there. So let's do our last pose, which I'm calling milkshake pose. Go ahead and stand up. Let's open up our feet so that our toes are pointing outwards and our heels are together. We are going to use our hands to make the rim of the glass that our milkshake comes in. And of course we need a paper straw. Go ahead and lift your arm up. Here is your straw and you can make a slurpy sound because it's so delicious. Switch your arms too if you'd like. This one comes down, that one goes up. Delicious, let's sit crisscross applesauce to end our session today. Well, we have one more Ocean Moves with Moat planned for you next week, but thank you so much for joining us today. We also hope to see you in the aquarium sometime really soon. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. If you enjoyed this session of Ocean Moves with Moat, please let us know. Feel free to like or comment below and also post a picture of you and your family doing our moves with the hashtag OMM. We'd love to see it. Also, we have one more left to go, so please join us next week for our last and final session of Ocean Moves with Moat. And until then, be well and have a beautiful day.